Hello everyone and today we are going to take a look at how to change the internal rendering resolution on the Dolphin emulator because someone asked. Uh, also we're going to take a look at Uber shaders uh, which is the latest, uh, one of the latest features that are added to Dolphin. Okay so we've got a Dolphin, I got a nightly build, this one's from August, it's uh from a few, it's from about a month ago, uh, but it'll do us. It has the Uber shader built in. Uh, mine is already set up, uh, has my game list here. Um, to set up your game list, bear in mind, all you just go config, paths, and whatever your ROMs are, is just what you want to do. So to change the graphics uh, settings, we go to the graphics tab, change the internal resolution. The back end, uh, generally, um, DirectX 11 tends to be the most stable of the two. OpenGL is another option. Uh, Vulkan is experimental. I wouldn't use software renderer. That's going to struggle. But probably DX11 is what most people are going to use. OGL is okay. Vulkan, it, it works, but it does have issues, uh, particularly with the Uber shaders that we're going to look at. DirectX 11 is the best uh, performing. Uh, particularly if you're going in NVIDIA card, um, DirectX 11, and you'll see your adapter, which is just your graphics card. Uh, leave these display, full screen resolution, aspect ratio, leave these to auto, don't enable VSync. Um, do not use that. It decreases performance if emulation speed is below 100%. Nah, we don't really want that. Um, so you want to go to Enhancements tab, and you'll see here Internal Resolution. Now for 4K, it's six times it recommends for 4K. You've got the choices. Native is 640 by 528, which is the uh, native rendering resolution. You can double it, which gives you roughly 720p. It's slightly more than 720p. Um, 1080p is 1920 by 1584, uh, 1440p. They're not quite, uh, you can have five times native, or you can have 3840 by 31. 68 which is actually higher than 4k um, it's just that's just a rough estimate it's saying for 4k um, it'll buff the uh, na native resolution it's six times native resolution anti-aliasing I tend to leave it off you can put it on if you want you can put some MSAA on but for 4k generally we don't need it uh, anisotropic filtering I leave it at four times everything else I leave as default the 3d mode um, I don't have a 3d monitor so I don't bother you can have the widescreen hack uh, some GameCube games support 16 by 9 uh, like time splitters future perfect is one game that supports it so you might want to enable this or not Though we'll get to the uber shaders okay this the uh, uber shaders solve the problem of stuttering in games. Uh, one of the things they did was they emulate the entire GameCube's rendering pipeline. That's how the Uber shaders work. This means that the game really does utilize, fully utilize your GPU. Shaders are things that run on the GPU. Uh, so exclusive means it will use the Uber shaders. There's a hybrid mode for those with lower end systems and you can disable it and have the uh, sort of as it was before. Some games like Metroid Prime 3 apparently was the problem one. Uh, we'll try it, we'll show you the effect of exclusive Uber shaders, shall we? Uh, what we'll do is we'll, I don't have Metroid Prime 3 corruption, we'll use Twilight Princess. It wasn't really an issue with this, but we're just going to use it to demonstrate this. I've got the audio off in case you're wondering, so you get the game, we'll fire up here, and you'll get a Compiling shaders. This is a new thing. See, it's compiling the shaders to run on the GPU now. Um, now we have to have this. It takes a bit of a while now to start up. Uh, we'll show you the performance of this uh, or the consequence. We can go full screen. We'll go full screen when the uh, this finishes, when the shader process finishes. So when we go full screen, uh, even if we don't go full screen, we'll still be rendering at 4K, but we will be... There you go. Uh, we will, that's 60 hertz. 60 hertz monitor. Um, using a controller screen display is, uh oh, wait, are we getting a display here? No, we're not actually, are we not? 
All right, so we're back. We were going to try uh, Twilight Princess. OBS has decided for some reason it does not want to capture full screen. So we'll just use the windowed mode then, shall we? All right, so fire up Twilight Princess. We'll go with this. Then D3D back end. We've got our MSI afterburner up. Have to have it in windowed mode because OBS decides that today is Friday and I am not doing... I didn't even select that there. I did not even select it. Uh, any button to continue. You'll see the difference here when we get to Hyrule Field here when it loads up. This, you'll see the GPU usage. Look at that GPU usage with Uber shaders. And look at the frame rate. Yes, we're struggling to run a GameCube game at 4K. Now, you can't hear the audio, but the audio is garbled to all hell. This is 100% emulation, kind of. But this is... Uh... Hang on, I will, I'll make sure we've got the hack, the Hyrule field hack. So to enable that, you just right-click it, go to Properties, Patches. Hi oh, we didn't have that. There you go. Should have that checked, really, if you're going to run Twilight Princess. We're just using this as our example game, so we'll fire that up again. Um, 60 hertz mode is what we want. And, yep. Don't download the game, <laughs> I guess. I own Twilight Princess. I own it on the Wii, I don't own it on the GameCube, so. So there you go, this is the Hyrule Field hack, which should apparently improve performance. Uh, because we're loading Hyrule Field here, but no, the frame rate is... As you can see, we're almost GPU bound, running 20 FPS. Click in the window. No, the controller is dead. There you go, it decided to load, there you go. For some reason the controls are a bit delayed, I don't know if it's to do with the uh, uh, yeah, I'll create a save. Save file, create a new quest log. Uh, I'll just leave them called Link. What I will do, yeah, Epona. Uh, what I will do here is I will increase the emulation speed. Ruins the audio, but we'll increase it just to skip the first cutscene here. As you can see, it really does struggle to hit 34. I mean, it's 30 FPS. It should be running at 60 because it's double the speed and it's a 30 FPS game. But yeah, GTX 1070 cannot run this at all at 60 FPS. I'm going to mute the audio there because it is annoying me. Uh, I've got it muted on the recording, but I'm going to mute it there because it is kind of annoying. Just tap the button a few times so that we can... This is at a double speed. In fact, it's struggling to run at one time speed. Is it still actually running at double speed? Or is it, did it not decide? Yeah, 200% speed limit. Yeah, yeah, high rule, destiny, blah -de blah As you can see, we just we can't run a GameCube game. At 60 FPS, skip this. Come on, Link. It's got an annoying first cutscene. That's the only thing I will say. But yeah, GPU bound, 99% GPU usage, and the GPU is running at pretty much full speed, full boost. But yeah, even increasing the limiter is kind of pointless because it just can't run the game. What we could do is. I don't know if we can... Can we take the res, take the resolution down to 1440p? I don't know if that'll... Act. There you go. You get 60 FPS at 1440p now. Now it's running at twice the speed. Can't even do 1440p at 60 FPS. There. I mean, that's crazy. Thirty FPS is what we're getting. We kind of... In a sense, delimited the frame rate, but we're just running it at double speed. Haven't got the sound. Come on, Link. 
So there's some controls. We can wander about and see what's going on. So we dropped the GPU usage slightly. But you can see Uber shaders are supposed to make it more accurate again. This game was pretty accurate. It wasn't one of the problem games. As you can see, we're running at double the speed and it can't hit double the frame rate. Incidentally enough, it's dipping down to the 40s. Emulation speed is 100, 200, right now 197, 200. Uh, we'll go back to normal, shall we? We'll get back to the normal emulation speed so that we can... Um, 100% normal speed. Back to 30 FPS. So this is 30 FPS. 1440p is what we're running as our internal resolution bump. We'll go back and... Back to 4K. Um, 4K. There you go. We're running 100% emulation. And yeah, I mean, it can do it at 4K 30 FPS. Or it can. We're like 70%, 60% emulation. Uber shaders are a huge hit on performance. Uh, for some games, they're not going to make a huge difference, though. I mean, only for, again, Metroid Prime 3 was the kind of major one. Let's pick this rock up. Oh, the rupee. I want a rupee. I want some cash. Um, such a dick. I'm Link. Ugh! Missed him. I missed him. Squirrel! Kill the squirrel. Kill it! No, oh, missed it. But there you go, you can see 99% GPU usage. I was looking for that the place where you can find Epona. You go this way, I think, to find Epona. I never liked this game, to be honest. I never was a big fan of it. Probably my, one of my least favourite Zelda games. Not me saying it's the worst Zelda game, but it's probably my least favourite of them all. Ooh, 24 cinematic frame rate that we're getting now on a GTX 1070. That is weird. So weird to see that. And our fairy boy gets his horse. Um, you can change it to Vulcan, or you can change. I think we'll need a restart to change the API, mind you. Uh, what we'll do is we'll make a we'll make a save state. We'll do a save state there. Um, we'll try changing the, I don't know if we can, ch we can't, don't think we can change the API while the game's running. Uh, we can't change the API. You washed the opponent, well done. So we'll try changing the API and see if it makes any difference. We'll change the Vulcan, shall we? Space bar or A button, whatever. Space bar, A button, same thing. Alright, so we've got a pull. Now we'll make a save state here, shall we? Seeing as we're running an emulator. Emulation. Yeah, overwrite that save state. Uh, overwrite that save state there. And what we'll do is we'll stop the current emulation. Yes, indeed we will. Uh, we will change to... Let's go for Vulcan. Experimental GeForce GTX 1070 4K. Post-processing effects we get with uh, Vulcan. We'll keep exclusive uh, Uber shaders. We'll fire up Twilight Princess. It has to recompile the shaders, of course, because we've changed the API to Vulcan. We'll run it full screen. Ah, it says Vulcan on MSI Afterburner. What we'll do is we'll load our save. Forget what the... Uh, if we load our save... There you go. We're back to where we were. Oh, Vulcan is a lot worse. You can see there. Utilization is there, but we are not 100% emulation. Nowhere near it. We're also getting, like, flickering. Whoa! Whoa! What is wrong with his eyes? I'll show you his eyes. I'll show you his eyes. What is wrong with you? That is creepy. That is just creepy. But yeah, Vulcan is experimental at this stage. I don't think the water effects are... They look pretty bad, the water effects on Vulcan. Well, there you go. Ooh, 18 FPS. 19 FPS. Ugh, don't use Vulcan. Alright, DirectX. OpenGL apparently was 
kind of similar. Um, we're not going to use that. Uh, it does say it's experimental, mind you. Uh, what we'll try is we'll try hybrid Uber shaders mode. Hybrid is a kind of halfway house. It'll do... Um, it's a halfway between having them off. It should prevent stuttering, but it should improve performance. We'll fire up Twilight Princess once again. Um, we'll load our state once again and see if we can... I went full screen there. That wasn't very good. That was a good idea. It doesn't work full screen. Uh, we'll go full windowed mode. And you can see here the GPU utilization is a lot less. I mean, that's kind of what we'd expect from GPU utilization. You see the water seems to be a lot better. His eyes. Link has eyes. There, his eyes are rendered in fine on DirectX 11. And yeah, it does run pretty much at 100%. So yeah, you're going to need some high-end hardware if you want to utilize the new uber shaders uh, i should put out that dolphin they did a hardware survey on dolphin and the second most popular graphics card type was the intel integrated graphics interestingly enough uh, nvidia was the most popular then it was intel integrated gpus and then AMD was third, so that, that's quite telling though, because you're never no way are you ever gonna get this to run with the Uber shaders. Um but yeah, I mean only if the game really has stuttering and you've got like a GTX 1080 Ti, maybe. But you know, we've got them down to hybrid, and hybrid seems like a happy medium. I mean the game runs fine, 4K. Can it hit 60 FPS? Let's find out and see if it can hit 60. Uh, we're just wandering about this first area here. Let's see if we can hit 60 FPS. There are hacks you can get. This is quite a crude method of doubling the frame rate. You can see here, yeah, it hits 60, no real issues. 200% emulation, not really an issue. Uh, does double the GPU usage there, but it, I think looks good at 4K. Could play this on Wii U as well. You get Semu, and it'll run on Semu as well. You can get Twilight Princess for Semu. Go take a Pona for a ride. But yeah, I was never a big fan of this game. But there you go, you're getting double the doubling the game speed. It's a very very crude method of sort of increasing the frame rate. But there are hacks that you can get that can increase the frame rate without increasing the game speed. Well there you go, Zelda running at 60 FPS. Did the Wii U version run at 60? I think that still ran at 30 FPS. And ran at 1080p, although you can upscale Wii U to 4K. Now, it was weird running it at double speed. Uh, I don't know what the Wii version would be like, but there you go. So that was how to change the resolution in Dolphin. And a little look at Uber shaders. It's not on the official Dolphin version uh, yet. I think Dol still Dolphin 5.0. However, you can go, go to the nightly builds section of the emulator's website. But apparently they do fix a lot of stuttering issues. You can see the clouds are moving over. Oh, I can't look up or down. You can actually see the shadows of the clouds moving over much quicker as we're running double the game speed. So don't use Vulkan. Uh, OpenGL apparently doesn't work too well either. But yeah, you can check it out. Go to the nightly build section on the Dolphin website and you can get the very latest version of Dolphin. Apparently they do bring improvements to specific games, but if the game doesn't need it or didn't need it before, then I what the hell is he doing? He's patting his horse. They're just milling about those those people there. Look at them. They're like, what the hell is he doing? He's like, what the hell are you gonna move me or what? He's getting impatient is Link. But anyway that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon and goodbye.